a man. Peyton Manning stepping out. It's the Zion Show. Pass is caught by John. It's autumn in North Carolina. How can you tell? It's a state fair. The state fairgrounds in Raleigh run just across the road on Trinity Road from Carter Finley Stadium. They're cooking up the food. They've got you going on the rides and we've got quite a ride for you this afternoon as Sitco presents ACC football. The battle between the Clemson Tigers and the Wolfpack of NC State. And here's the series. The Tigers have won four of the last six but you see how close that the last four meetings have been and they've averaged 70 points a game the two teams combined and it is Adam Kiker kicking off a sophomore from Wagesboro North Carolina for the Wolfpack and back to receive is Brian Mance and Joe Don Reeves and we are just about ready to go the Wolfpack and the Tigers and this should be one of the better ones of the season. Mance, the leader in the ACC in return yards. Deadly, deadly. He's got it at the goal line. Mance, oh, shot it down. Oh. Hello. At the 19-yard line, it's a 19-yard <laughs> gain, and that's where they'll start first and 10. And let's take a look at Woody Dantzler, and what a year he is putting together. And, of course, needs just 57 yards to become the first ever ACC player to log 2,000 yards rushing and 4,000 yards in the air and 65 percent in the air for Woody Dantzler on their own 19. First and 10 here's Dantzler out into the flats it's complete to Hamilton and Hamilton gets a first down up over the 30 yard line to the 31. Hamilton's a good looking freshman Richard freshman from Dillon South Carolina. And he is second among NCAA freshmen in receptions. Those are the backs and receivers for the Tigers. Up front, they're really happy to have T.J. Watkins, who's starting for him. He was injured. That's a solid offensive line. On first down, here comes a handoff, and it goes to Travis Zachary. And Zachary up to about the 35-yard line, brought down by D'Antonio Burnett, one of the leaders of that defensive core. And of course, let's take a look at our Chevy starting lineups. And Corey Smith has forced six fumbles. That leads the NCAA. Terry, uh, Terrence Martin, Darius Bryant, and George Anderson up front. And we talk a lot about Fisher, and the whole country does that. But Jamerson and Burnett, those guys are very active at linebackers as well. And that secondary, Patterson, Holt, Offside, and Washington, defense, they will have their hands filled yards, today. Offsides against NC State will back them up. Or push them ahead, push Clemson ahead five yards to the 36 yard line. Brian Williams is noted as the quiet killer. Torrey Holt gave him that nickname. He will definitely have to be that day, that type today, because against this offensive Clemson, there's so much coming at him. And a lot of it out of the arm and the feet of Woodrow Dantzler. He's back to throw. And Dantzler complete. And it's ahead to Matt Bailey, and that's just around the 45-yard line, and it'll be good for another Clemson first down. That'll push him out eight yards on the play. Chuck Amato. I like Chuck. I mean, Chuck really represents what football is all about, especially college football. Enthusiasm. First and ten at the 45-yard line. There's the option. Dantzler. Breaks a tackle and he's into the secondary and he's on his way. Woody Dantzler all the way. Touchdown Clemson. 55 yards on the fourth play from scrimmage. Woodrow Dantzler on an option play that looked like it was going to fall apart, Doc. Steve, I nearly said what a great play in terms of penetration by NC State. I, they had him. Well, then they did. I had Woodrow Dantzler. I don't know how you describe him. It'll take the entire game to continue to come up with terms. This young man is he's special. That's why he's a Heisman candidate. Aaron Hunt getting ready for the current out. Out of the hold of Jeff Scott. The kick is a low squibber, but it does the trick. Woodrow Dantzler, 55 yard downfield, 7 0 Clemson, and here's how it happened. We'll see it after the kick here. Win Kopp is getting ready to kick it off. I still don't believe it. And I got a chance to watch it a couple of times on replay.
Well, you know, Steve, what he does is he makes you shell shot. Now does. the next time they come out, I mean, it changes how you approach him. You lose your aggressiveness. Greg Golden is out there as long as well as Lamont Reed. This is Golden on the ball. This is Reed on the carry, and he gets it up over the. 17 yard line. Let's look at that play again. Well, Brian Jamison, 20, he's the guy for NC State who had the best chance. Derek Hamilton comes in, gets a nice block right there, and then Dantzler does the rest. Now, these kids on NC State side, they can run, but watch Woodrow Dantzler change speed. He'll go right in the fifth gear there, and it is over. Dantzler with the longest run this year for the Clemson Tigers, 55 yards. And just like that, the visiting team has the house. See what Philip Rivers can do, the sophomore quarterback from Athens, Alabama. He's got everybody in close, a little razzle dazzle play, and it's going to go right up the front. And this is going to be taken by Ray Robinson as we take a look at our Chevy starting lineup. Ryan Peterson had a big week against Wake Forest last week with 86 yards. Ray Robinson, Coach Ray Jackson, Jericho Cotri, and Willie Wright. And this offensive line that does so well for State Kustra up front. He's the guy we'll keep our eyes on because he'll have a heck of a matchup in this ballgame. Second down and seven after that odd formation play. Where Ray Robinson actually picked up the football and ran three yards. It's out close to the 20. Open backfield now for NC State. Rivers to throw and the throw big for Peterson. It is off the shoulder pad of the defender. And that is Thomas, the linebacker. In coverage. Well, that's covered some ground for Rodney Thomas. And we got some, uh, we got a flag on the play. 25 yards downfield. There you get the view that Rivers unobstructed. Boy, that's, I mean, for a linebacker. Wow. Now let's watch him find it. Has the arm out. Lucky he didn't make contact. That might have been called. That is just unbelievable to understand that a young man, 225 pounds, could go downfield with the receiver. On the offense. Penalty is declined. Third down. So it comes up third down and seven. Penalty is declined, as you saw James Knight in the cake. NC State is struggling on third down this season at 38%. Clemson, conversely, at 53%. It's amazing. Philip Rivers. Got Jackson and Robinson in home. With him in the backfield. Two wide outs. Comes across the rush to Robinson. Robinson trying to pick up yardage and gets brought down by Toure Francis and Chad Carson at the 25 yard line. It's going to be shy of the first down. Credit that to pressure, Steve. Yes. Talked about Kustra, John Lee, Cleet Vaughn for Clemson. Those guys up front did a real good job of putting pressure on Phillip Rivers. Mance is back to catch the kick of Austin Herbert. Sporting a sprained ankle, but doing well in punting. And he gets a good one off this time. Mance at the 25. And Mance is brought down by Jericho Cotchery on a 49 yard punt, and it's a 14 yard return. North Carolina State coach Chuck Amato talked about Clemson's Woodrow Dantzler. He can put a lot of points on the board, but NC State coach Chuck Amato knows exactly how you stop this awesome athlete. It would be great to have 10 minutes more time of possession this week than what Clemson does because you're exactly right. They, they can't score if they're sitting on the bench. If Dantzler's on the bench, he can't, he can't do all that fancy stuff. Well, Dantzler did enough fancy on that first possession. And now he's looking at his second possession of the day, just a yard shy of his own 40 yard line. The fake handoff, the play action pass is complete to Hamilton, and Hamilton's got running room down to the NC State 40 yard line. Brought down by Terrence Holt. 21 yard gain. Well, you Burnett, middle of your screen. Fisher is to your left at the bottom. Now you see 44. They're able to pick him up. That's the most important thing, I believe. That Clemson must accomplish, and of course, good action by moving the pocket opens up the receiver. At the NC State 40, first and ten. It's a no huddle look. Handoff now goes to Zachary, and he runs into a solid wall of red. Nothing. Not much there. The first man to hit him, Jarek Hall, the junior from Leland, North Carolina. He gets up 6'2", 287, and NC State was waiting for Travis Zachary. Very active player as you watch. 
Jarek come off the field, they rotate players a lot. I mean, Buddy Green's system to keep guys fresh has paid off. Austin two on the play brings up second down and 12. Showing a three man rush right now as Dantzler gets it out to the flats. It is complete to Zachary and is driven out of bounds at the NC State 35 yard line. It'll be a gain of seven yards on the play. A lot of patience on that play, Steve. Talk to uh, for the ball game, talking to Michael Kane, quarterback coach for Clemson. He talks about this kid's maturity, how he has been able to be patient, wait on the open receiver, and find it. Third down coming. NC State 50, or rather Clemson 53% of converting third down to first. Fisher at the bottom of the screen, 44 red. Hamilton in motion. He gets blocked out. Fisher got blocked out. Here comes Dantzler. Broke two tackles and gets the first down at the 28 yard line of NC State. <laughs> He's something. Well, the good thing is they keep 44 in red. Fisher will talk a lot about LeVar, this excellent player, Butkus candidate. And he is a guy who they've got to block. He got in on the tackle late, but was not able to get there at the point of attack. First and 10 for the Clemson Tigers. Dantzler has the record now. The only ACC player with 2,000 yards rushing, 4,000 passing. On the reverse, there's a handoff to Corey, and Corey, Aries Corey, with a flag down on the play. Aries Curry, he's from Columbia, South Carolina, a true freshman. How do you catch a breath on defense? Roger Pollard, the linebacker for NC State, gave up contain. There's Woody Dantzler into history. Holding on the offense, 10 yard penalty. Jim Knight makes the call. Woodrow Dantzler has the record. The holding call will push Clemson back a bit. I talked to Jim Knight before the ball game about even when you officiate a game of this nature, he says, I get a little bit more depth. When I have a guy like Dancer, because you want to be able to see the entire field. He does a marvelous job. First down, actually about 12. On the spot of the hole, Dancer out on the wing. Pass is dropped by Matt Bailey. Nobody around, just Matt and the ball. Boy, Gary Bird, right tackle for the Clemson Tigers, did his job. When he engulfed Anderson at the point of attack, gave. Clemson that that corner you can't allow the Tigers to get to outflank you they just have too much speed on the edge and Matt Bailey just dropped it in space <laughs> boy coach stocks the hill wide receiver coach he's going come on guys we go over this heck of a coach has had to endure a number of injuries in his spot lost at least four wide receivers but they're very deep there Big rush is on by Fisher and down goes Woodrow Dantzler. Dantzler down at the 45 of NC State. There's the hit machine. You figure it's just a matter of time. They tried him on the left side. That didn't work, so they put him on the right side, and buddy, he cashed in. I mean, you don't get a lot of chances to get a great athlete like Dantzler down. Fisher gets in, finishes the work. Loss of 13 on the play. Or bring up third down. That's the 16th sack given up by the Clemson Tigers this season. Dantzler. Pressure is on and rolling over him is George Anderson. The junior from LaPorte, Texas. Well, this was a good scheme, Steve Martin. They had the number count working for him. Travis Zachary, the back is up. And those guys have got to secure the corner. You want to secure this area. Now, you watch this. Two guys in. Zachary lets him through. That is a no-no. you got to keep those hips together, and you drive that guy through and tail color passes you. Boy, that's a poor job up front. Great job on defense by Anderson. Win Cobb to punt. And the pass. The snap is behind him. Cobb will fall. State will get the football inside the Clemson 10.
and the Wolfpack crowd is alive. One of our keys, Steve Martin, was special teams for Clemson. And before we could even post it, they've had a breakdown. Breakdown on that play, and they give NC State excellent field position. Watch this snap. Oh. Yeah, to let, you got to stop that ball. You got to throw your body in there and stop that ball. It's tough to say. Cop does a good job because he secures would have been a touchdown for the Wolfpack. A loss of 37 on the play, the snap to Henry Owen. And now Phillip Rivers blessed with great field position at the nine, actually the eight yard line. Two wings, one in motion. Now that's Peterson. Reverse comes to Peterson. Peterson tries to turn the corner, gets up inside. And it's going to be Thomas coming up with the tackle. Let's look at the Clemson starting lineups. Khalid Vaughn, 2000 defensive rookie of the year, with Neil Coleman, who's a true freshman, and Dewan Pole. Well, I talked about Lee. Jack Carson is a maniac. This guy is an outstanding player. We see a lot of him. Rodney Thomas already, already had a great play. Francis, Mance, we've seen the speedster, and Meekins. Those guys will have their hands filled. Well, you see William Brown on that last play. The big guard couldn't get out front in time. He's been hampered by an ankle injury. Pass going for the end zone. It is touchdown. Contrary. The first for Jericho Cotchery. An eight yard touchdown grab. His first career touchdown for the sophomore from Alabama. And the Wolfpack are about to tie this thing up. Well, you love to get your first score at home in a big game. Following the turnover, boy, you talk about a swing of momentum. The defense gave it to him. Here's Adam Kiker with a kick, and it is good. Adam Kiker. With the point after touchdown. And NC State, just like that, ties it up 7 all with Clemson, just like we expected. Tough pass, too. It's a touch pass. Yes. Looks easy. Not as easy as it looks. And Phillip Rivers makes a lot of things look easy. He does. It's amazing. Sophomore. Adam Kiker ready to kick. Brian Mance is under it at the six. Mance gets away from Jackson and then stumbles at the 25. Cotray Jackson got him with a wing tackle. First and 10 at their own 24 yard line. Dantzler hands off to Travis Zachary. Cuts inside, but D'Antonio Burnett is there to stop the cutback. There's Travis Zachary, who Collected all kinds of touchdowns in his career. 34 in the last 22 games. Antonio Burnett on the tackle. Zachary, his fifth year senior from Marietta, Georgia. 3.9 average. Second down pass to Zachary in the flats. And Zachary gets up over the 30 to the 34 yard line. He's going to be very close to a first down. That's a good piece of running. Running in traffic. And that's a lot in my mind, like running a tall sweep. He's got three receivers out in front of him. This and he makes what, it happen. This is what he's done so far in the year, 19 catches. So he's a favorite option for Woodrow Dantzler. It's what this kid does, especially in the passing game, after the reception it counts. Because he can make you miss. We got a measurement down on the field. This is going to be close enough for the first down as you look at uh, Travis Zachary. Call it, Steve. Three touchdowns against Georgia Tech. Well, yeah, we were a little blocked, obstructed blocked. there. He got it. First and ten. Clemson. Dantzler. Pass complete out there for Bailey. Doesn't drop this one up to the 39 yard line. And it'll be a gain of five. That's the way you defend Clemson. As Marcus Hudson performs the task of you stop them in their tracks. With Dantzler moving the pocket and a good run outside, there's no way to think you stop the completion, but you can't let him pick up yards after the catch. There's Hudson. He's a true freshman. He's out there in five deep formation now for NC State. Five DBs in the game. They got their nickel package out there. Here comes Zachary trying to turn the corner. Loses the football. Picked up by NC State. Julius Patterson will get on the fumble, and the Wolfpack will cash in with defense again. In 
they do it every time. Every time by the Greaves group. Ferocious around the football. I mean, this is great slide by the linebackers. Then you see Burnett, he overruns it, and then the backside hit right in the spine. That's what does it. At the 46, Rivers to throw out of the shotgun to the flats. Cotre Jackson, it is complete, but Thomas says no more. And actually throws him for a loss on the play. Back into his own territory of four yards. Well, I love to watch the defense. He comes right in following a turnover. And they charge on the field and they're excited about getting the ball back to their offense. And Rodney Thomas already had one great play in the passing game. Shows you another one out in the flats against the back. NC State's defense has been equal to it. They've got a fumble they're trying to cash in on. And then, of course, they had two See guys there. Guys high fiving and chest bumping before the snap. I like that. <laughs> they're in this deal like, hey, we don't care. We're on the road, but let's get it on. Second and 14. Rivers. Back fires incomplete intended for Graham. Over there in coverage, Brian Mance. His three career interceptions. Here's Rivers on the season. No slouch at 62%. Close to 1,000 yards coming in. And he leads the ACC in yards average per game. Facing a third down, however, and these are the type of third down situations that State didn't want to find themselves in. Well, they need Ray Robinson there. He, he's their go to guy, in my opinion. And he's got to have a huge game. Ray plays up to his capabilities. State's in good shape. Third down and long. Rivers to fire. Pass complete to Peterson. And it's good for the first down. He's at the 35 of Clemson. He needed the 36. A 15 yard hookup. Smart route. And that's what coaches want. Coach Holiday will be pleased with this. His receivers who know the necessary yardage to get, and they get it done. Then you make the catch. That's a nice operation. Chuck Amato said it yesterday. He's got to get it in the hands of Brian Peterson and Willie Wright and Willie. Ray Robinson. Willie Wright. You know, that's my guy. Tight end, Donald. Oh, yeah. Love all of them. First and ten at the Clemson 34. And off Ray Robinson. Robinson met right up the middle. Chad Carson is there to meet him for no gain, and there's a flag down on the play. Tiger swarmed to the ball. Let's see what the call is here for Jim Knight's crew. The announcers for this game are selected and compensated by Jefferson Pilot Sports. And this broadcast is a copyright presentation. Any use of this broadcast without the express permission of the Atlantic Coast Conference and Jefferson Pilot Sports is prohibited. There's the hold, and here's Jim Knight to mark it off for you. By the offense, 10 yard penalty. Repeat the down. Graham Peterson, four wide outs now for Clemson. Draw play, Raymond Robinson. Flag thrown into it. And he gets down to the 35 yard line of Clemson. There's a flag now dropped at the 40 downfield. That's a good call. And you see Robinson hit that, that next gear? Yeah. That's the Ray Robinson I'm talking about. They want him to shake loose this afternoon. And it's a hold. First down and actually 29. Brian may not like it, but. No. Rivers back to throw. Pass is complete. This is Devontae Edwards, and Edwards gets very little yardage. Mance brings him down at the 50-yard line. It'll be a gain of five. Nice tackle by Mance. Second down and 24 for the Wolfpack. Score tied at seven. They picked up a fumble. Now they got movement early. Oh, that's smart. Go for it. Throwing it out to Peterson. Francis and Peterson, two alert players. How often do we see guys at one side will stop? That was heads up. Yeah, both play, the defender and the offensive player. I check Rivers' birth certificate, man. This kid is too smooth to be a sophomore. <laughs> it's like an encroachment against Clemson, but we'll wait for the call. Offside, defense, five yards, and keep the man. Start calling plays right now. What do you think I call? See tight end, really yeah, right hand. Some way to tight end, right hand. You're right. You got it. Maybe next play. Ray Robinson. Not much yardage there on the deep handoff. Clemson determined to stop the run, and uh, a lot of people have dared NC State to run on them. Wake Forest did last week. 
Well, you watch these kids and watch the pads are, are square all the way across the board. There's no sin to be blocked, but watch them. They'll get off the ground and they will converge on the ball carrier. Actually, a loss of one on the play brings up third down and 20. Chad Carson. Man. Academic All American. Rivers. Converted last time in similar situation. The pass is incomplete, but we have a flag down on the play. I don't mind an incompletion. Throwing right into two receiver side, two defender side, rather. I like that incompletion because that would have been trouble. Offside. Defense. Five. So that'll change third and 20 to third and 15. And give Rivers another shot at it. There's Reggie Heron. Defensive coordinator. I asked him two questions. He went 20 minutes. Mr. Intensity. And one of them was, How are you? <laughs> Reg is a good man. And the kids play for him. You know, a lot of guys know what they're doing, but they can't get the kids to follow through. Reggie doesn't have that problem, and they communicate well. It's a close knit group. Well, he's had to face third time, third down three times in this drive. This is third and 15. Rivers has time, pass intended for Peterson. Francis called for interference. This time the Wolf Pack will get first down by penalty. First and ten for the Wolf Pack. Clemson 24 yard line. Rivers hands off. Robinson stood up. And that was John Leak who had the first hit. The sophomore from Plano, Texas, who leads this team in tackles with 54. Well, he's good one. That's what I was talking about in the open with. Uh, Scott Kustra left tackle for NC State. We may have to see more of Mr. Leak than he'd like. Here's another guy, just pure football player. The I mean, guy loves the game, worked on his body in the offseason, you know, added as much weight as possible, strong as an ox. Loves the game. Second down and 10. Last three running plays, Doc, for NC State. No yardage. Yeah, but you got to stay with him. Here's the pitch. Robinson gets a little running room. The lead will pull him down at the 19 yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. That's classic Gray Robinson. Not a lot happened there, but he made something of it. Third down and five. Feel that dog. Here it comes. Pass to the end zone. Cotchery touchdown. Rivers is a keeper. This kid is a keeper. Bought the high school coach, played quarterback for him. And boy, you talk about a good football family. They, this kid felt blitz. And you make people pay for it. There's a game inside. He didn't pay. Watch the arc on that. Right down the old chimney. Foot in. Great operation. What a play by Cotchery of 19. The kick by Tiger is good. Drive took nine plays, 46 yards, set up by the fumble recovery by Patterson. NC State. George Anderson is having a heck of a game. You look at this for NC State. Back in the end zone, Mance driven back to the back of the end zone. He'll come out and take it at the 20. First and 10 as we wind down this first quarter. Clemson. At their own 20. Dantzler hands off Rembert. Backing up Travis Zachary gets good yardage after the 33 yard line. A game of 13 on the play. Well, this is an, an offense that doesn't have to panic because they can score. I don't think anybody doubts that. What they've got to do now is play smart football, don't panic, and don't turn it over. First and 10. And once again. Rembert gets the call, but it's Demory Smith and let's see, looks like uh, a whole bunch of people in there. In the second quarter, first play. Wow. NC State's defense, Julius Patterson, makes the hit on J.J. McKelvey. A loss of five on the play. Welcome to Raleigh. Has nothing like points. What points do for a defense? Patterson energized. He covered the fumble that set up NC State's last touchdown. And Brad Scott, the coordinator for the 
Clemson Tigers is looking at a ledger sheet that shows at least five plays of negative yardage for the Clemson Tigers offensively. Three wide outs to the wide side. Yeah, but Brad has Dantzler. That's right, and here he comes. Dantzler, wide open field. Nice cut, got a flag down on the play. He's driven out at the Clemson 45-yard line. It's conditionally a gain of 20, but it may be coming back. Yeah, that is coming back. J.J. Pull, pulled a little cloth. Well, you hate to see those wide receivers take back a big run. Again, Dan Holy. by the offense, 10 yards for the spot of the foul. He's the answer man. When in trouble, let him roll. We didn't get a chance to see it on the replay. Trust me, it happened. Third and 13 now for Woodrow Dancer and the Clemson Tigers. 14 7. An NC State defense that since giving up a 55 yard run to Dancer on the fourth play of the game has stiffened ever since. And a blitz on. They figure it out. The pass incomplete. Intended for McCalvey. Brian Williams intercepted a key pass against Wake Forest last week in the end zone to end the game. Knocks the ball down. That penalty really killed momentum for the Tigers. They needed a break. Momentum's in a red shirt. Fisher, decent rush, good pass, bro. A lot of contact on the field here, buddy. Back to punt, win Cobb. Never got his first one away. Had a bad snap. Let's see what kind of a snap he gets this time. It's a high snap, gets a good kick away. Peterson calls for the fair catch back to the 26 yard line. 44 yard punt. 13 48 left to go here in the second quarter. Starting from their own 27 yard line, and they have three wide receivers bunched in a triangle to the top. Peterson, Pottery, and Graham, and we have a flag thrown in. We've had a lot of penalties here this we game. It's the ninth penalty. Five yard penalty matched off against NC State. Here's our Jefferson Pilot Sports first quarter stats. And uh, passing yards about even. The Clemson rushing yards are tempered by the fact that you have to figure the sack yardage in there. And the big turnover that resulted, of course, in an NC State touchdown eventually. First and ten. Peterson in motion. Play action for Rivers. In pursuit, and the pass is incomplete. Yes, that, that, that hit late. Thomas may have hit him late. Khalid Vaughn was pursuing Phillip Rivers out of the pocket. Let's see what the flag is here. Our 10th penalty. Quarterback gets close to the sidelines. It, it, it behooves you to back off. Up in the passer, offense 15 yards. There's Carson. They give up a little bit on contain to throw, to hit. You're on that red, you're out of bounds. Especially and then I think this had a little bit more to do with the hand that was high by Rodney Thomas. I yeah. think it had a heck of a lot more to do with the maybe the elbow. First and ten. All out to the 37 yard line draw play Robinson he's got some daylight and then it quickly shuts down and they'll blow him dead at the 41 yard line four yard gain for Raymond Robinson let's go to the sidelines and Mike Hogwood well oh, Doc's exactly right uh, Jim Knight came up to Rodney Thomas and said it wasn't that you hit him out of bounds it was that you used that elbow and that forearm and knocked him up around the head area he told him that was the penalty Jim Knight yeah, good Charlotte. job Hogwood. It was tough. Linebackers come over. They have a little signature greeting card. <laughs> Elbow to the face. Second down and six. There's the draw. The delay draw gets into the hands a little bit late of Robinson. And he loses actually a couple of yards on the play. Coming up with a nice tackle that time. Dewan Polk, sophomore from Wadesboro, North Carolina. Loss of two. Hard yards, boy. Reggie Herring's group 
is has really been in a good position to play Ray Robinson this far. You know Ray has that big run in him, but so far they have clamped down. Third down coming for the Wolfpack. They lead it here, 14-7. And look at a third down at eight. Once the slot receiver to the top side, that's Willie really Wright. Here's the pass right through his hand. Wide open too, Doc. Yeah, he had it. Put a little mustard on that one. <laughs> a little mustard on this one. Willie Wright. Now this ball may have been tipped because Wright has glue. I don't know. That was high and behind. Yep. That's a tough one. That's right. Tough Boy, they catch. missed an opportunity on that. They had him open. A little more of that on the quarterback. Here comes the kick by Herbert. Taken by Mance, and he'll return it a couple of yards there. Patterson and LeVar Fisher make the tackle. So with 12-10 left to play, a 36-yard punt. And Woodrow Dantzler comes back out onto the field. <laughs> NC State 14-7 over the Clemson Tigers. Clemson scored first, but two Jericho Cotchery touchdown pass receptions from Phillip Rivers as the Wolfpack up on top. Clemson playing in purple pants for the first time in their history. Here's Matt Bailey. There's the pass, and it goes complete, and that's to the tight end. That's Ben Hall, the true freshman from Welford, South Carolina. We're told they've worked on that a lot in practice going to the tight end. Ben's a hoss. 12 yard gain on the play. Want to see more Woodward and Hall? Tight end for the Tigers. First down again for Woodrow Dansbury. No huddle. Coaches look at the personnel and then they flash the call into him. This is Hamilton, the freshman, and he is jolted as he goes out of bounds, but not before he gets to the 48 yard line. Gain of about seven on the play. Marcus Hudson, reckless. To the sidelines and Mike Hogwood. Second down and three. Dantzler ahead and Fisher helps bring him down, but he's got the first down and he's in NC State territory at the 46. Nice block by Rambert, too. The halfback. I mean, you get a fake and then you come out of it and get a nice block. I heard his wrist on that play. Know what that limp arm feels like, but it ends at his pain. <laughs> First and ten. Blitz is on. Hand off Rambert. And Rambert goes up to the 40 yard line. It's probably about to be about a seven or six yard Here's gain Rambert. on the play. Here's Clemson comes out, no huddle. Coaches up on the move. Watch this formation, Doc. They got four wide receivers. All here wide to the left side of the field to the wide side five wide receivers total. Kelby is the lone receiver to the top side looking over there the screen to Zachary Zachary wide receiver screen and he gets the first down at the 25 yard line flag down on the play however. Power sweep. I'm gonna call that a power sweep. Yeah they tell you, you get three guys in front of you I don't care who they are but well, you get Zachary with the ball carry it's a power sweep. It's a hold against Clemson. We've had 12, at least 12 penalties in this first half. Good design. Boy, Brad Scott, the coordinator for the Tigers. This is what you want, but inside oh, maybe a little grab. And it's hard yards, not to. Spot foul, that. So that'll push the ball back toward the 47 yard line, which was the original line of scrimmage for this drop. Steve, when you have to contain the skilled athlete in space that long, you almost better maybe a little butt and then cut the guy at the end. Second down. Three wide receivers out. Oh, handoff goes to Zachary, and Zachary stood up. Antonio Burnett right there on the scene at the 45-yard line. Gain of maybe one. We'll give him two. Coming for the Tigers. Down by a 
touchdown. They're in state territory at the 45. Well, Curry, number nine in white, he's a speedster for the Tigers. They need somebody to come up with a big play. It's the upper slot. Hamilton's inside his shoulder, rolling that way. Dance, we're looking over the middle of the field. Incomplete for McCalvey. Brian Williams covering on the play, but a flag is down. Kelvin gives you that body, 210 pounds, six foot four. Nice little inside burst release. You see the separation. Little contact there. You know, the contact is there. Now, slight as it may be, by the letter of the law, it's contact. So it's interference against NC State. Williams there a shade too early. And that gives Clemson a first down at the Wolfpack 30 yard line. We have had how many penalties? 13. See, that's tough. I might just as well give Brian a high five on that and say, man, keep covering him like that. I mean, two teams combined, we've had about 13. That's the fifth on NC State. Play fake, dance for the throw, pass complete. That's his tight end, Hall. And he's down to the 10 yard line, a gain of 20. Unstoppable. Big, smart guys running across the field, making catches. Moving chains. Now, how do you defend it, Steve? The tight end is just how do you defend it? I mean, look at this guy. Graceful, strong, good looking guys. I, mean, I, I don't know how you stop him. Can't even contain him. Can't contain him. All of them. The tight end gets 20. Dance the back to throw. Blitz is on, trying to get after it. Pass complete. Touchdown, Hamilton. Derek Hamilton, the red shirt freshman from Dillon, South Carolina, pulls Clemson to within a point. And no flags for the Tigers. My goodness. That's got to be the best news for them and us. Six touchdown pass of the season by Dantzler. You have to give this offensive line a lot of credit. Dantzler could have had a tuxedo on on this one. Great separation. Again by Hamilton, jogs in for the score. There's Aaron Hunt out of the hold of Jeff Scott, the son of Brad Scott, offensive coordinator. There comes the kick, and it is good. The Clemson Tigers come back and tie it up. Tied up 14 all in the second quarter. Clemson and NC State, the drive, nine plays. Some 71 yards, two big catches by the tight end, Ben Hall, the true freshman. And then a touchdown grab, the first of his career by Derek Hamilton. And departing is Terrence Martin, the sophomore from Tona, Virginia. He goes out, headed to the locker room. We'll check on that injury. That's a huge loss. He's made a lot of plays. The good news for the Wolfpack, Derek Hall shares that spot, and he's also a playmaker for the pack. Tony Lazaro ready to kick it off for the Clemson Tigers. Lamont Reed and Greg Golden back to receive, and this will go out of the end zone. But this is a huge game. Today is a big game in terms of the ACC race, and nobody knows that better than NC State quarterback Philip Rivers. I mean, you never know how it's going to go. You know, Maryland is undefeated right now, but you think, you know, whoever ends up with just one loss may win it. You know, that's, maybe that's how it turns out. And it, if that is the case, we're still, we still got a shot, and we know that, and we believe that, that we can still win it. And uh, so this is certainly a key game. And Phillip Rivers has done his role so far. Six of nine, 50 yards, two touchdowns, both to Jericho Cotchery. And it's first and 10 now. Clemson, or rather NC State, back at their own. 20 yard line after the touchback. Rivers out of the shotgun, rushes on, and he is hit and flattened. And doing the job inside. They the Washington. Washington. Yes, uh, freshman, Richard Freshman from Buford, South Carolina. Boy, just imagine how he will, he will be after a few years of training table. Little guy, only 320 pounds, six foot six. <laughs> He's a load. Well, Rivers a little gimpy coming out of there on the ankle. He's lucky to just be gimpy following Washington's hit. Ball play goes to Cotre Jackson and he stood up. NC State's ground game before that play had only gained 11 yards in seven carries. And 
again Chad Carson's in on the tackle for the Clemson Tigers. Great stop on the linebacker. Patience is one thing. But next you got to figure out a way to to break this code. The Tigers have come up with a great scheme to keep Robinson and company bottled up. So far it's been highly effective. Third down coming at 14. On a third and long for NC State today. They've converted on a couple of them. Here's Rivers to throw. Pass incomplete and behind Ryan Peterson. And that's happened a lot today. Charles Hafley is covering and NC State goes three downs and out. But he had, he had Troy Graham open on that play as well. I mean, Rivers made up his mind where he was going with the football, put it in there, but just missed again. Second possession now, he's missed on a third down pass. And missed behind the receiver. But you know the good news for the Wolfpack fans? What's that? Guys were open. Yep. Herbert to kick. Has some time. This is Mance back to get it. At the 45 of Clemson. Mance, nice return into Wolfpack territory to the 43. It's a 40 yard kick. And it's an 11 yard return. We have a flag down, down on the field as they sort it out. Let's take a look at what the call is going to be and find out where the ball is going to be marked. We've had 14 penalties total between these two teams this far this afternoon. Illegal block in the back during the run back by the receiving team. 10 yards from the spot of the foul. First down. William Brown, key on the offensive line for State, gone for the day, sprained ankle. He was questionable. He did not start today. And so he is done for the afternoon. And that's too bad. He's a key protector of Philip Rivers. They've only sacked him seven times this season. Yeah, but he, had, dancer. but he had a tough time. As much as they like to pull that left guard, he had a tough time getting in front of his running back. Dancer loses two on the first play from the scrimmage. Tackle by George Anderson. Anderson making the stop. He's got 19 tackles for loss. Now one more to this total. Junior from the Fort Texas. We see Jackson just left off. Big blitz is on for Dantzler. Squeezes out of the pocket and is missing. And here comes Pollard, and now finally Patterson to stop him. He's going to be close to the first down at the 45-yard line. I don't know how to say this guy's incredible. He's a treat to watch. I mean, you think he's like a cooking oil poured all over his body. You guys catch him to slide right off. I mean, great moves, and he picks up yardage in the midst of a move. Not one of those guys that has to stop. Third and one. Dantzler hands off. Zachary runs into the interference and may not have enough. Big tackle. Burnett led the troops for the Wolfpack that time on defense. A loss of one will leave Clemson shy of the first down. Well, you got to make some decisions on this one. He had. They're going to kick him. Potting unit is out. He stopped him twice on third down, but Coach Bobnet, you know, he's a competitor. He really wanted to go for that bad boy. And that's why you need your staff to take that emotion out of it, make a good decision. Boy, that's rough. Patry is back to catch the kick as Peterson limped off the field. Here comes the kick. It's a bullet going over his head into the end zone. 46 yard kick, touchback, comes back out to the 20 yard line for NC State at the 617 mark. Wake Forest and Duke just underway. Uh, not far away in Durham. No score there. Alabama up by a touchdown on Ole Miss. And Michigan has a one touchdown lead on Purdue in the second. First and 10. NC State from their own 20. Hand off Ray Robinson. Nice cutback. Gets out of Thomas's grasp and goes ahead on one of the more successful running plays of the afternoon for NC State. Out to the 28 yard line. It's a seven yard gain. Charles Hafley with the tackle. Hafley saved a huge run. This is the thing about Robinson that I really like. No matter what happens in the ball game, he's always a threat. The kid is a tough inside runner, and he won't give up on you. Olin Hannum comes in to the lineup, and he's going to be in a slot. Now, Olin Hannum is the backup quarterback, and he is the slot to the near side of the field. Four wide outs for Phillip Rivers. Coach Jay Jackson is in. Pass is compelled, dropped by Hannum. 
the backup QB gets a chance to shine and can't hang on to the football. They had him to. Had him open. Let's go to the sidelines and Mike Hogwood. Yeah, you were talking about uh, Peterson a moment ago. He's got a, a jammed ring finger. They have taped it up. He's putting his glove on. He's going to try to come back in and play, but his hand's hurting him. Well, Jericho Cotri has been the receiver of choice this afternoon for Philip Rivers with two touchdown grabs. Peterson is a valuable weapon for NC State. Four wideouts again. Pass complete into the flats and it is close to the first down and it is caught there by Devonnie Edwards. Mr. Cuff's breakout. Getting fired up inside. Nick Eason is out on the field and Eason was questionable today because of a knee injury. He hasn't practiced an awful lot. Charles Hafley in there on the play as well. And it is a first down for the Wolfpack. First and ten at the 32. Ray Robinson on the draw, and there isn't much there. No, that was not a smooth exchange. NC State hasn't gotten much out of that shotgun and then the draw. And they lose a yard on that one to Ray Robinson. You know, we talked about it, you you had a uh, nice sound bite with Chuck Amato. Time of possession. Keep dancing off the field. So some of these things don't look highly effective, but they keep Big Ben in motion. And little things like that pay off. Nashville can't score if he doesn't have the ball. That's right. Second down and 12, the loss of two. Four wide outs for Phillip Rivers. Steps up and has some running room. Rivers brought down by John Leak at the 37 yard line. And it'll be a gain of seven on the play, maybe eight. Bring him out to the 38 yard line. Well, this is set up. Phillip was going to run this all the way. And that's good. They need him to become another option. You lose a guy like Peterson, someone has to step up. Rivers is your man. NC State is three or four of six on third down. They had some success and they've had some long third downs. This one's reasonable at third and four. Good beat the clock. And a timeout called on the field. Timeout for the Wolfpack with 3.37 left to go. They were about to run out of time on the time clock. This has been a point filled exciting series especially over the last four years. Let's take you back three years ago and it began a run of great games between Clemson and NC State. The amazing Torrey Holt dominated this game in particular with four touchdown catches including a game winner with 37 seconds remaining to give the Wolfpack a thrilling 46 39 victory and that was at Death Valley. Home field doesn't seem to matter and there's Torrey Holt. His name emblazoned here, and of course, he plays on Sunday with the St. Louis Cardinals. And what fun he seems to be having in that offense. Luckiest guy in the world. Be able to get in an offense that fits you. And it doesn't matter what position you play, but if you get in a system that suits, you know, your, your attributes, boy, you're lucky. And he is getting it done with St. Louis. The last three games. They played 70.3 points a game and a ton of yardage, 816. And today, uh, we're not seeing an awful lot of rush yardage, but we're seeing some good passing through the air. Not yet. Not yet. We've seen some pretty good defensive plays yes, as we well. Have. Yes, we have. NC State's defense has played very well. Got a feeling in the fourth quarter that heat rather hot down down below. You were down on the field oh, this yeah. morning. Not for long. You know, it's close to 80 <laughs> degrees, unusually warm for this time in mid-October. Third and four coming up for the Wolfpack. Again, they're four out of six third down conversions. Switch their lineup. Willie really Wright. He's on the left end. That's Edwards moving off to the right. Rivers looking, pass complete. Peterson, bandage and all. First down in Clemson territory at the 49 yard line, a gain of 13. Well, you got to know the difference between pain and injury. There's a lot of pain there, but there's also a big heart. Peterson comes in and went back and got that football. NC State, five of seven on third down. Their offense clicking in the air today, but not on the ground. Four wideouts. Blitz is on. Carson will sack Phillip Rivers. That's the second sack of the day 
NC State's offensive line, Doc, had only allowed seven coming into this game. Well, they've been real good, and Rivers has a lot to do with that with his quick release. This time, pre-snap, you called it. I mean, you saw it. But it was on his backside, and for whatever reason, Phillip didn't pick it up. Of course, you got to look at the absence of William Brown, that left guard, is possibly having something to do with State's inability to handle that pass rush. Clemson now showing seven in the box. They pull back. Now they'll bring a backer, and Rivers throws one out there for grabs off the face mask of Brian Peterson. Torrey Francis in there covering. Peterson with that can't buy a break look. <laughs> Part of being a good wide receiver and a defensive back is that you have to minor in acting. Yeah, you got to have that built-in salt. You have to. You come up, you throw your arms up like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> well, he had no chance at that. I like Rivers, man. He threw it up and said, I believe in you. Make a play. Third down coming, but this one's 17 yards long. Four man rush, Rivers outside the pocket where he's most dangerous. Almost picked off by John Lee. Pass intended ahead for Ray Robinson. Flags are thrown in late. Well, if that's against the Tigers, Reggie Herring, we'll have you have to contain him over that sideline because he defended that play to a T. Let's see if he gets credit for it. Officiating crew, They're very busy this afternoon. Let's see what the call is going to be here. It was a third and 17 play. It was a pass that was incomplete to Ray Robinson. A little shot foot action on that throw to uh, to Ray. Good pressure by Clemson to get him out of the pocket. Well, Brian McNeil. Has been able to bring the pressure when needed for the Clemson Tigers. He and Khalid Vaughn. Yes, boy, those guys, they, they know when to get upfield. We have pass interference for blocking downfield by the offense during a follow pass that crosses the line. Any tip was beyond the line. And the ball was tipped, but it's they're, they're calling here. When I understand it, offensive pass interference. All right. Blocking down the line of his defensive pass interference, there is. And we'll see what our extraordinary producer, Scott Snyder, can come up with this in terms of pitchers. <laughs> <laughs> Penalty declined by Clemson. And so it'll be fourth down and 17, and they'll just watch the punter. See the lower right hand side of the screen. Let's see, right here at the bottom, right there. Let me let me see. I think you got oh, it, Doc. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think you got, yeah, got it. it. And that was the tight end, yeah. Willie Wright. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, <laughs> it might not have been an 8 0. That's to get the kick of Austin Herbert. Tight ends everywhere are safe. I didn't the see it. Of Doc I didn't see it the way you saw it, Steve. <laughs> okay. Eight of five out to the 25, a 36 yard kick. First and ten from the 25 yard line. Woody Dantzler has four wide outs, actually three wide outs and a wing to the same side. Dantzler ignores all of them and takes his own number, and that's a pretty good number to call. Burnett will drive him out of bounds at the 44 yard line. It's a gain of 19 on the play. You go back to the Georgia Tech game, and right before half, he found a way to make it to the end zone. I mean, th this guy is so dangerous. I like the little move left. The movement freezes you, and then he can beat you to to the opposite side. Pretty good blocking up front too for the Tigers. Here comes Dansler again. Takes the throw. Gets a nice block on the corner, and is driven into the NC State bench, and there's going to be a flag. Hudson with the hit after he was clearly out of bounds. Five yard gain, but it'll be more with the yardage after the play. Well, I'll tell you what, Akil Smith had an outstanding job of trying to string this along, blocking up front. I mean, personal foul 
Dancer's outstanding. I want you to see 61 and I watch him. He's trying to get out of here. This is in space. This is a big guy. Watch his footwork. Pins inside. And that's a good football player. He is taken completely out of the play. And then the rest is dancing. And that, folks, is a late hit. No doubt about that. First and ten. Now ball at the NC State 37 yard line. Sixth penalty against NC State. First and ten. And off Renford. Nice block inside by Zachary. And Terrence Holt will bring down Rem. He's brought down at the 11-yard line. It's going to be an 18-yard gain, good for a first down. And sets up Clemson in the red zone. What a kid. You fake the action, then you roll out. So he fished your 44. Watch him. Watch the strike. I mean, he threw it right on the money, allowed his receiver to catch it in flight. Timeout on the field now. Clemson to call it here with a minute and eight remaining. They have two timeouts. Minute and eight left to go. Minute nine, if you will. And let's watch Woodrow Dantzler and what he's done so far today. He's great to watch and would not want to have to defend him. So many different elements, Steve, of Woodrow Dantzler. This is Woodrow, the magician. I mean, he makes you miss and then puts you away. That play left him two yards shy. Then Woodrow, the passer. And we put the ball right on the money. Very clear it can do it on the run. And then, as you well know, Woodrow Dantzler, the runner. 90 yards on the day with a touchdown, and of course, and a new standard in the ACC. First ever ACC player with 2,000 yards rushing, 4,000 yards passing in a career. Here's what he's done today. I mean, for a game, pass to boot. you take those numbers for a game, you say, okay, pretty good pass defense, but I'll take 90 yards on the ground. NC State in the meantime, woeful on the ground at 13 yards. Dantzler has outgained all of NC State, and now he's pressing for another score at the 11-yard line. You take away that errant snap yes. for Clemson, and they've done exactly what they wanted to do in this ball game. Team on the road. Stop the run, allow Dantzler to do his thing, and come out and uh, go in up at half. And it looks like they're in a great position to do that. Ride of Orangeburg, South Carolina, driving for what could potentially be a third Clemson score at the NC State 11. Zachary is loaned back. Four wide receivers out, three left, one run. Fake draw, Dantzler gets around. And is driven out of bounds there by Pollard and Peterson, or rather Williams. And I tell you, the way he ducks up into the hole, <laughs> That's the make a miss, and then ducks around outside. Try to beat Antonio Burnett. You're the middle linebacker. Try to beat Terrence Holt. Or Julius Patterson. You're watching this guy from afar. You look inside. You're losing behind those linemen. Before you know it, he pops out, and you got to deal with him. Four-yard gain. Those kids are huffing and puffing because they're trying to catch this guy. Second and six coming inside the eight yard line. This is Fisher time. This is the time he usually makes a big play. Rolling left and bearing down, passing right, tight end, whole touchdown. Oh my goodness. Seven yard grab by Ben Hall, his first career touchdown reception. It was a play that Clemson had worked on this week, throwing across the field to the tight end with Dantzler setting up to the other side. Big Ben, his third reception in this ball game. You're right, the action of the play, that, that's, uh, that's sold it. Then the great talent. Ben Hall sealed the deal. Tight ends caught three big passes for Clemson. They're awesome. Here's Hunt. Kick is up and it is straight down the uprights. And the Clemson Tigers now push out in front after seeing NC State score 14 unanswered points. They've got a couple of touchdowns unanswered of their own. I mean, look at the action. I mean, you drive everybody out. I like that. And then you throw back and you throw out to a guy who you know will come through in the clutch. Great students, personable people, half lineman, half receiver. I mean, I could go on and on and on. All the hero in your mind. Dancer with and watch. <laughs> he would dribble. And that's a strong arm. I mean, he stopped. That wasn't the great, the greatest setup, but he got it done. 
Six play drive, 75 yards, capped by the tight end, Van Hall. Seven yards out. Your buddy Green, the coordinator for NC State, you cannot worry about numbers and yards in this game. No. You just have to win in the end because there's no way that you can stop Dantzler if he's healthy. You just got to try to hope that he'll score six or seven times on Clemson fans are here in earnest this afternoon. Raleigh. Saw a lot of them at our hotel last night nearby Kerry. They are ready to follow their Tigers. They usually year in and year out. Clemson usually travels more people than anybody at the conference. Well, they get it. And that great football tradition, great passion for the game. And whether Clemson's up or down, they are there. That's what I, pre I appreciate about them. Sarah to kick off now for the Clemson Tigers, who now have a seven point lead, 21 14, with 56 seconds left to play. Lamont Reed and Greg Golden are back. Here's Reed at the one. Flag down. What else is new? Brought out to the 20 yard line, and let's see what the flag is going to be back here. This is back on the Clemson kickoff team. That is, I think, the 17th penalty in this game. Is it not? Somewhere in that area. 15. Now you get an offside. You always want to make that kickoff team travel down 45, 50 yards, a bit winded. Yep. They can kick it again unless you ran the original kickoff back. They got it out to the 20, but they think they can get more. There's Lamont Reed at the last kickoff. He'll try this one. 49 seconds left to play. Clemson 21, NC State 14. Each quarterback has thrown a pair of touchdown passes. And uh, in both cases, they have been passes to people who have not cut touchdown passes before today. Key breakers. Clemson has lost so many receivers to injury. It's amazing. It's a great, uh, quite a tribute to the staff. Kick carries back to the one. Here's Lamont Reed, and he got one net yard more this time. 21 yard return. Now another flag is thrown in. And this one's thrown in late. Dead ball. First foul late hit. On the defense, kicking team, first down. So that'll give NC State a little room to operate here with 42 seconds left to go. After the penalty, there's Tommy Bowden. It just drives you nuts. It really does for coaches because the game of field position is so crucial to your success. It's down. I mean, he's down. You <laughs> just. Can't figure it out. That's Blake. Yeah. Badly. Not using the brain. First and ten from the 36. Rivers over the middle. Pass complete for Peterson. Peterson on his way. Gets a block from right. And is driven out of bounds at the 14 yard line. Willie Wright gave him another 20. Dino Mike. Now you talk about a throw. That had to be there. That Philip has been, he's missed his last well, two of his last third down passes. Not this one. Right on the money. Great reaching catch for a kid who has a bad hand. You wouldn't know by that reception. Great block by Willie Wright on the edge. Way to go, Steve O. Pointing out those tight ends, getting it done. Autry and Graham are the wide outs. Peterson is the slot. Robinson in the wing. Here's Rivers, the pass to the tight end, incomplete, covering on the play, oh, yeah. and there's a flag. Carson, the middle linebacker, was covering the tight end coming across. A penalty littered first half. Instincts on this one. Carson felt him, grabbed it, held on maybe a little longer than he'd like to. You want some contact. Pass interference on the defense. Foul, first down. Automatic first down down at the 12 yard line. He knew it. He knew he that was the read. Rivers made the right, right one. Now watch it. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like the swagger. 11th penalty. First and 10 at the 12. Rivers steps up, fires for the end zone and out of the end zone. Good toss by Rivers to elude the rush and save the sack. It's a great throw in the red area. Don't mess around and make a mistake when you're this close to pay dirt. So it's second down and 10 at the 12. 21 seconds left to go. NC State has two timeouts. Trying to tie this ball game up at halftime. They trail 21 14. Peterson's wide out to the right. Pottery to the left. Has time. Pass to Jackson. Completed the five. Down to the three. It's close to the first down. Clock continues to roll. NC State needs a time. And gets it with nine seconds left. Goodness. He was a little late with that pass. Still, the kid is such a competitor, man. I, I love his style. Last season, Philip Rivers burst onto the ACC team and was named ACC Rookie of the Year. We asked him yesterday, well, what does he know now that he wished he knew back then? A lot of things I wish I'd known last year is, the, is I, got, I got a little more time than I think I do in some cases. I got, I got another split second to hang on to that ball to wait, you know, to wait for another receiver. And I know a lot more now about where my check downs are as far as the backs and the in the short routes that when something's not there I know to go to it right now. It went to Cotre Jackson on this play and got eight. And he looked inside saw it wasn't there. Pretty good throw. Pretty good throw. Question do you have two more plays in you. Can you yeah. get your field goal unit on if you can't get this play done. Well, we've had some good pitches today. This has been fun. Third down and two. From the four, looking for the end zone. Cotterie incomplete. Clock stops with five seconds left to go. He's angry because he didn't put enough air on that one. That was the right idea, throw away from the defender, but he wanted a little softer touch on that, and he may have had to score. Well, here comes the field goal unit. Chuck Amato says this is a long afternoon. Tying Clemson would be fun, but we've got to get points on the board off every drive. So he sends Adam Kiker out there for a 21 yard field goal. Out of the hold of Nevin. Here comes the kick. And it is good. A 20 yard field goal officially, and NC State pays it off on a quick possession. As the clock runs down, the gun sounds, and the first half has come to an end. And Tommy Bowden talking to the referee, Jim Knight. As he heads to the sideline, 11 penalties marched off against his team in the first half. Tommy, some first half. What a game so far. Uh, yeah, penalties are killing us. It, it, it looks really, really bad, the penalties. Can I'm you, surprised. Can you share with us what we're no, doing? No, no. <laughs> Commissioner will get a hold of me, but I'll be in touch with him. All right, we'll, we'll let you go to the locker room. I, uh, he is not happy. Second down. Rivers throwing for the end zone. Has Peterson. Was he in? Yes! 21 17, our score. Clemson over NC State just moments ago. Our Mike Hogwood talked with Wolfpack head coach Chuck Amato. Chuck, what's your plan here for the second half? What do you have to do better? We got to tackle better. We got to contain Dantzler better. He has 227 yards and at 233 yards of total offense for them. We got we to take the big plays away from him and force him to bump the ball more. Are you doing anything different to stop him in the second half? We're gonna put you out there because we don't have no, 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 no. We've got to make the adjustment. We just gotta play back. Lazara getting ready to kick. Back deep. Lamont Reed and Greg Goldman. Ray Robinson, who normally returns, he has not been in return formation at all this afternoon. I don't blame him. I mean, it's tough a load as he's had to try to bear him in the backfield. Here comes the kick. Lamont Reed saves him from going into the end zone, and he's coming out of his own 15. Out to the 20. 
tries to turn the corner, but a nice Close. tackle by Eric Meekins after a 22-yard return. Meekins making the saving stop. As we look at what happened, NC State three and out, and then they score after the bad snap, then they score after a fumble, then punt, punt, and the field goal key by a 48-yard pass from Rivers to Brian Peterson. Rivers this afternoon, uh, Pretty good report card, 10 out of 19, two touchdown passes, both to Jericho Kotchery. Brings him out first and 10 at his own 23. Quick pass to the wing, goes now to Peterson. Peterson gets the first down marker at the 33-yard line, and we have, oh, guess what, a penalty flag. And we have seen a lot of penalties in this game. This infraction takes place inside, nowhere near the play, so for the offender, if it's on offense, it was wasted. This officiating crew's had a lot of airtime today. This will be the 18th penalty. Well, they didn't make him up. No. Illegal walk by the offense. <laughs> you can sense some frustration in Jim Knight's voice, too. He says, I don't like calling him. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. No, that's right. But this is a nice way just to get the ball in the hands of an outstanding receiver, give him space. That had to happen way inside. And that, that'll get Chuck Amato, really. I mean, I remember two weeks ago against uh, North Carolina, they had a lot of penalties. And I was listening to the post game show. Look, look at him now, he's torn off the headset. Maybe Mike isn't out on the field yet. No, but, I don't need Mike with dancing. But he <laughs> said after the game, after his team was charged with 10 penalties, he says every one of them was the right call. Ray Robinson going nowhere. Back up at his own 14-yard line. If NC State is not successful this afternoon, they'll have to point to their lack of success on the ground. They've got to be able to establish the ground. Phillip Rivers cannot continue to carry this team all out. No, it's suicide. Against a defense that can put pressure on you like the Tigers can. You want balance. I give them a lot of credit. They've continued to try to run the football. It just haven't been effective. Loss of three brings up second down and 13. Second down 19. Rivers out of the shotgun. Passed almost into Brian Mance's hands. Wrong uniform. Intended for Graham. No enthusiasm. You, you look at the red shirts on offense now. This group is a highly emotional group, and if they get a good play going, they're a different unit. But that penalty really set them back. They started off well. Here they come, third down and 19 from the 14-yard line. This is not what Chacamato had in vision for the start of the second half. No, not third and 19. Nope. Rivers, good pass rush. And it is picked off, but I believe out of bounds by Mance. Brian Mance is sitting there saying, boy, he's tried to throw it in my hands the last two plays. And Clemson's defense forces three and out. Of course, they were hurt by field position on the penalty. Let's see where Mance is on the reception to catch. Clearly, yeah, yeah, good call. Watch him. Back foot. It's a heck of a catch. Though. A heck of a catch. Bad punt by Herbert. In the end, it'll take a decent NC State roll to the 46-yard line. Carter Finley Stadium as Sitco presents ACC football. It's 21-17 Clemson, and they have the ball at their own 46-yard line. Woodrow danced the pass complete to his freshman. That's Derek Hamilton, and he's out just beyond the 50-yard line down to the 47-yard line of NC State. 13-38 left to go. It's going to be a gain of seven, and we want to bring into the booth an old friend of ours, Coach Bill Dooley joining us here in the broadcast booth and uh, ACC legend that is indeed true he's coached at Wake Forest in North Carolina Virginia Tech and uh, has joined us up in the broadcast booth on numerous occasions good to have you on board Bill. well it's great to be here Steve with you and Doc and uh, y'all do a great job and we've got a whale of a football game going on today we can keep that yellow flag in somebody's pocket and be even better <laughs> well it's flag day here at uh, Carter Finley that guy right there is unbelievable what he can do he can make a miss him how would you stop him coach well, hey, the only way you can stop him is to get two or three on defense with the same speed and quickness that he has. So you say it's about recruiting. 
<laughs> that's, that's exactly what it's about. Recruit the right football players. 102 yards for Dantzler on the day. First and 10 at the NC State 40 yard line. Dantzler just eludes a tackler, throws complete to the flats. And a flag is thrown. And that passes. Came in, a, yep, that came passes. in late. Marvin Jenkins gets the catch. There's Buddy Green. He's seen enough of the flag too. Ball, late hit on the defense, 15 yards, first down. So, wasn't that successful to play? But look at it unfold here. Coach, I think I'd rather see him do that all day than to run with the football. Well, that's the great thing about Woodrow Dantzler. He can not only throw it, he can run it, he can beat you in a lot of different ways. But I like the quarterback on the other side, too, Phillip Rivers. He's an outstanding football oh, yeah. player. Young guy, sophomore with a lot of points. First and ten after the penalty. Dantzler looking for the corner. Zachary wide open. Touchdown, Clemson. Nobody in the world covering Travis Zachary 22 yards downfield and Clemson pushes the score up even further. Third touchdown pass of the day by Woody Dantzler. And he's found three different receivers each time. So much pressure on a free safety. Terrence Holt picked up the flag. And you got to figure somewhere along that that action took him out of center field. Here comes Aaron Hunt for the point after. Kick is up and it is good. Clemson pushes ahead by 10. Timeout on the field, actually 11 on the touchdown. Eight plays, 69 yards, three and a half to execute. Dantzler with the eight yard run, but he had a lot of help that drive from Travis Zachary, including a 43 yard pass reception. And pushed the Tigers downfield. Got it down to the six. Bringing it out of the end zone. This is going to be Lamont Reed. Reed gets out up to the 20 yard line. And we got another flag down. Flag down on the field as Reed comes off after the return. Let's see what the call is from Jim Knight. Illegal block in the back during the run back by the receiving team. 10 yards for staff. 11th penalty against NC State. The ACC.com, your first stop for ACC info including live stat updates from all conference games, football press conference audio, and links to all nine schools. The ACC.com, your front row seat for ACC Sports on the web. First and 10 NC State, and they're starting from their own 10. Phillip Rivers out under center. Two wide receivers out. Raven Robinson in his backfield. Three-step drop, short pass complete to Cotchery. He's driven out of bounds at the 15, now the 17 and 18 yard line. So it's a gain of eight on the play. I would say, Coach Dooley, you look for something now and you're Coach Amato. You have to get something positive for your club. What do you say, to him? Well, the only thing you can do is try to get something established in the running game and take some of the pressure off Philip Rivers as a quarterback because. The only thing you can go to right now is throwing the football. Get something going running and get them off your back. Right here. Here comes Raymond. There he goes. That's what you got to do right there, Doc. And you got to establish the running game. Meekins pulls him down. Coach Dooley, take Over. us through this replay. Well, this is just a, a simple, what we call a move. A tight end. Uh, <laughs> You knew that was coming. Well, coach, you know it. Well, when you got a tight end like this, Doc, Willie Wright, that's the guy to go to. What a big target he is. Rumbling look, down the side. Look at him move down that field. Think he was in, coach? Ah, well, oh, that left foot there. might have been out a little yeah, bit, Doc. Just a little bit. <laughs> good camera shot. This kid's good looking, bro. First and 10. At the Clemson 22. Here comes the fake reverse. Peterson's got it. Got a man wide open. Peterson did a beautiful job selling the fake, and Cotri caught his third touchdown of the day. The point after, however, by Kiker is wide to the right. But watch this play again, and watch how Peterson even drops his hands a little bit. Coach, can you think yeah. of all the practice sessions when you had guys over accentuate fakes? 
Well, we call that rock the baby. When you fake it in there, the back's got to act like he's got the ball, and he just did an outstanding job of pulling it out. Let's take a look at it again. Here comes the fake, as the back does a good job. Wide open. And there's Jericho. Cochran. He's got to be all Atlantic Coast Conference name with a name like that, Jericho Cochran. And he'll be <laughs> he'll be there in a lot of ways with three touchdown passes. That's Peterson's third career touchdown pass at NC State. He was a high school quarterback, and uh, he did an outstanding job selling that with just the tilt of his helmet. He kept looking at Devontae Edwards as if to say, "You got it, kid. Run on." Well, they got they have this great crowd back in the ball game. All in red, set for fire. 6:48 to go in this period. The fellas now Dantzler, but then it always comes back to Dantzler. And how do you stop him? Well, you keep him off the field first of all. Now you got to do something defensive. Deal with him. Well, that's the best way to stop him, Doc. Is keep the ball and don't let Dantzler get on the football field. Because when he gets on there, Doc, you're in trouble. He's in. You're in real trouble. Pottery with his. Third touchdown reception of the afternoon. Came in here with none today. Rivers has found him twice, and Brian Peterson has found him yet again. Cotri will be big man on campus. The Wolfpack can pull this game out. A ways to go. Hiker with a kickoff. This is Derek Hamilton. Hamilton. Oh! Coach Trey Jackson unblocked. Flattens him. We got a flag, however, upfield. The penalty down at the 13 yard line. A 12 yard return. Trey Jackson sped through, and Hamilton had no chance. And the penalty is against Clemson. What a play in the kicking game. Watch Jackson come right through the blockers of Clemson and make this play. Excellent tackle. When you do it inside the uh, 50, inside the 15 yard line, Doc, that's an excellent play on special teams. Well, that'll get you an extra cheeseburger and meal line. <laughs> you know, I like a running back that, that shows you this kick could probably play safety. A tough running back who goes down and makes a big play. Worst field position of the day for Clemson. Will be a turning point in this game. They've been there before. At their own seven yard line. Dantzler with Rembert and Zachary with him in the backfield. Here's Rembert. Rembert gets nice inside running room and has some more. Flag on the play. Here comes a missed tackle. And driven out of bounds finally at the 38 yard line of NC State. But wait a minute. We got a flag way, way back. It's a 53 yard run, but it likely will be coming back. Could be JJ McKinney. Illegal block in the back by the offensive team, 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Four infractions so far in this ball game, coach with wide receivers. They give you good effort. But the technique has not been what you need. Well, you know, you talk about Zachary. Watch this guy right here. This is Zachary's backup. Look at the moves he puts on Steve. Doc. Boy, that's just poor tackling, too. Well, it's poor tackling, but it's good running. He's making a miss him right here. He makes him miss right yeah, there. That's, that's he makes him miss right there. That's good running. 16 yard run officially now with a penalty. First down and four. Dantzler to the corner and no more. NC State says we've had enough. Sean Price, the junior from Haddon Heights, New Jersey, leads the charge. And they flatten Dantzler back at the 11-yard line. That was great defensive pursuit. It looked like nine red shirts on Woodrow Dantzler at that time. Good gang tackling by the NC State defense. And guys, when your top defender is out, LeVar Fisher injured. Everybody's got to give a little bit more. Look at look at the red shirts. There's the All-American Fisher, wishing nice. he, on his left knee, wishing he could get back in. Here's Dantzler now, second down and seven. Back to throw, puts it up for the sidelines. It's incomplete, intended for McKelvey with Brian Williams in cover. <laughs> 
So this will bring up third down. Chuck Amato needs his defense to make a stand right here. Well, this is where, for the first time today, you look at Roscoe Crosby, who's out, Youngblood, Elliott, Jackie Robinson, receivers for the Clemson Tigers that are out with injury. Well, this is a big play right here. If NC State can hold, they can get some momentum going for them and get really back in this ball game. Third down and seven. Clemson two for five on third down today. Here's Dantzler coming out of the backfield, make it three for six. And he keeps Clemson in possession out to the 23 yard line. Gain of about 10. Let's look around the country, gentlemen, at what's happening. Miami has now pushed themselves ahead of Florida State 35 20. Wake Forest, four touchdowns better than Duke. And North Carolina, 14 17 over Virginia in the second. In the second and, uh, Alabama by a field goal over Ole Miss. And John Bunning, I know you've got a special feeling for him over Well, I certainly do, and I'm very proud of what he's doing over there, Steve. Here's Woody Dantzler. Dantzler stayed happy that they held him to a two yard gain. You ought to be happy. <laughs> Clemson up here 35 23. That's Hamilton in motion. NC State got a rest. Three man rush looking over the middle. Hamilton complete for about three yards out to the 30 yard line. Roger Pollard and Terrence Holt in on the tackle. Coach speed on defense. That's been one of the biggest changes you've seen over the last 20 years in college football. I don't think there's any doubt about it, Doc. The, the last 10 to 15 years, players have gotten bigger and faster. When you get that combination, you play a lot better defense. And you've got to play defense because the offenses, are, the receivers, the quarterbacks, Woodrow Dancer, you've got to be able to contain those people. Clemson going with a fullback for the first time today. Fake pitch. Dantzler pass to McKelvey complete for the first down to the 43 yard line. So they turn third into first. And it's a gain of 13 on the play. And we've got a player hurt for Clemson. And it's one of their offensive linemen. It's Derek Brantley, it looks like, a junior who's backing up Gary Bird at right tackle. The pass hookup was good. Well, look at the action. To McKellar. See, it's always the action. They give you the fake toss. He turns, and you just move people off just a little bit. You know, coach, just angling, getting people out of the way. Let's see if we can see this injury. 71. Oh, you know, his own player. Oh, falls oh. right across it. Ben Hall was pushed down on him. That is Derek Brantley. It's been a costly game for these two teams you got LeVar Fisher who's got a sprained left knee and we could be headed for the right knee of Derek Brantley to find out what this injury is going to be as he gets up very gingerly and he'll have to be assisted to the sideline so the players who may have seen the last of their day on one knee which tells me that it might be an old injury Gary Bird back onto the scene and there's T.J. Watkins. Watkins back in at uh, left guard. First and ten from the 44. First and ten at the 44 yard line. After the pass to McKelvey of 13 yards. And off to Rembert. Sweet, nice block by Zachary, and Rembert gets to midfield. And it's a gain of about six on the play, maybe seven. You know, one of the impressive things, Steve, uh, has been the versatility of the Clemson offense. They come at you every different way imaginable. I mean, it's uh, runs, passes, reverses, everything. Dantzler makes it work. He's under center this time. He's been in shotgun most of the day. Here comes Zachary, and Zachary, wide hole right up the middle. He's got another Clemson first down at the 44 yard line to the sidelines. We go with Mike Hogwood. Yeah, I was talking with Rodney Williams, former Clemson quarterback now on the radio network here on the sidelines. And he says the big difference in Woodrow Dantzler now and even a couple of weeks ago is his vision, how he keeps his head up throughout the whole play and checks out all his options before tucking it down and running. Doc mentioned maturity earlier. I think vision has a part of that maturity. First and 10 from the NC State 43. Here's the reverse to Curry, but Pollard will have none of it. He slows him up. 
And finishing him off is George Anderson. Discipline. Nice play, Roger Paul. Yeah, yeah, discipline defense. Burnett helped out on the play, but Pollard was the one who strung it out. It's so tempting to squeeze down too right. tight when you play a team like this that has so much misdirection. Well, that was an excellent play by the defensive end of NC State, but again, the versatility of the Clemson offense is making NC State stay at home. And it's breaking open some big plays for, him, uh, for Clemson. Tenth play of a drive that started at the Clemson seven yard line. Dantzler back to throw. Now thinks better of it, and again, NC State misses a tackle. And there he goes. Woody Dantzler, another broken tackle. I don't believe it. And Pollard, I believe, finally comes back to get him, but not before Dantzler, who should have been down at the 45 yard line, makes his way all the way down to the seven, 43 yards later. With a quarterback like that, Steve, I'd get back in coaching. You get back in coaching. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's down. Count the many ways for it. What? Look at that. That was a wolf pack. That's just a straight. Left him in his shoes, broke you down, missed tackle number four. It's, it's, it's incredible. It's simply incredible. First and goal from the seven. Here's Rembert. And Rembert brought down at the four yard line. Look at Woody Dantzler, the senior, fifth year senior from Orangeburg, South Carolina. Look at the passes and attempts 20 and 24. 224 yards and three touchdowns. I want to see a better football player in America in person. Well, I haven't seen one that can do I both. Either. Right. Running right. and throwing that this young man can do. He is really an outstanding player. There's Rembert. He's hurt. Bernard Rembert, junior from Somerville, South Carolina. Second and goal. From the four. Play fake. Dantzler. Oh. Pass complete. Touchdown. And he hits Chad Jasmine as fullback. A four yard touchdown reception. It's the fourth. Reception for touchdown today by a Clemson back. Oh, Jeff gets in the books with a score. I thought Holt nearly had a play on that. Boy, they have you from every area, coach. Inside fullbacks catching balls, halfbacks, throw it to the X. Well, the versatility of their offense, that's the big secret. Here comes Aaron Hunt out of the hold of Jess Scott for the point after. The kick is up and it is good. Well, this is truly Woody's year, but last year, you remember, Dance took it off to a great start and then got hurt after the seventh game. Well, health is the key. Yeah. Lamont Reed. And Jasmine almost got the tackle, and Joe Don Reeves in there with the second tackle. And we have another flag on the play. 23 yard return, so we'll wait and see what happens here. This flag marked down at the 18, and this is something that State has had a problem with all day. Penalties on kickoff returns and at the start of drives. It's hard enough to run against this defense. Let alone to lose real estate. Illegal block in the back by the receivers during the return, half the distance first. Half. Steve, we've had a variety of penalties. We had delay of the game, we've had holding, we've had illegal blocks in the back. We haven't confined it to one area. No. They're spreading no, it around. So uh, we haven't had any illegal <laughs> receivers downfield. We've had well, no we loss had, of down penalty. We had the quarterback throw beyond the line of scrimmage. Yeah. That sure, that's right. true. There's Philip Rivers. Now affiliates, if you're gonna wonder why we are we might run over today, twenty-seven penalties. <laughs> First and ten NC State. They're a zip code away from the touchdown. Pass is complete. And a nice catch there by Brian Peterson. Nice Third hand at all. Nice big chunk of real estate. Peterson coach was injured. Coach Ho Mike Hogwood told us he had a finger, it jammed a finger. But hard to tell now. This kid has stepped up. Well, this is the thing Rivers can do to you, Doc, right here. He's a comeback kid. I like him. He can throw the ball and he can put it on the money. Peterson, five catches, 105 yards. Here comes a handoff the inside to Raymond Robinson. They just try to give a little bit of relief to Phillip Rivers. And they don't do it. Eight of 11 wins under Chuck Amato have come from behind, and they'll have to do it again today.
Sitco presents ACC football from Carter Finley Stadium in Raleigh. Fourth quarter now just underway. Phillip Rivers, his team trailing 42 23. Flag on the play in the backfield. The pass is behind Devontae Edwards. Another flag down there on Toure Francis. Flags 28 and 29. Think we hit 40? Oh, easy. We've got another 15 minutes to play. Jim Knight and his crew deciphering the action here. Clemson's record is 18. We have two fouls. Hold it on the offense. Defensive oh. pass interference on the defense. The penalty's offset. We play the down. Okay. Like it never happened. So it's second and 13. Our stats through three quarters presented by Choice Hotels International. NC State still paltry rushing yardage, but look at that for Clemson. What balance today in the air and on the ground. Total yards 438 and still 14 minutes to play. It's a machine. And Woodrow Dantzler is responsible for about 94% of it. And I'm not kidding. Second down and 13. <laughs> that does sound strange. It does. Rivers back to throw. Rivers downfield has a man out there Graham and it's knocked away and almost intercepted there by Ryan Henry redshirt freshman from Orangeburg South Carolina hometown of quarterback Woodrow Dantzler and quarterbacks coach Michael Kane that was well they have the ability to push the ball downfield I don't know if you can get it all in one strike they may have to be a bit more patient but I do like at the end I like receivers to turn on defense if need be Graham did a good job of knocking that ball knocking it free NC State four of eleven on third down they're facing third and thirteen Rivers rushes on out of the pocket flag is thrown and it's intercepted now he's out, now he's out of bounds That's right. but a flag back in the backfield, it's going to be a hold against NC State. Rivers took quite a hit. Chad, Chad Carson, a little selling some wolf tickets. <laughs> Brian McNeil was also in pursuit of Philip Rivers. Strong day for him this afternoon. So the holding call is declined, and it'll bring up fourth down. And Rivers comes off the field and. Looks like the punt unit is getting ready to come on. 14:34 yep. left. Right on the line. Good set of hands, but just a bit out. Herbert on to kick. There's Brian Mance getting racked to receive. Mance dropped the football. Who's got it? I think he got it back. Yeah, it looked like it came right back to him. Trying to separate everybody. I wonder how many times the ball changes hands in one of those clutches. A lot. <laughs> but I've been at the bottom of a few of those piles. It gets <laughs> ugly. NC State says they've got it. And then they took it. Yep. They took it at the bottom of the pile. A 40 yard punt, and NC State gets a break. And they'll get a chance to set up shop in Clemson territory at the 38 yard line. Julius Patterson comes up with his second fumble recovery of the day. The first set up a touchdown in the first half, which was NC State's second touchdown of the game. And let's see what this one will set up. They'll set up shop at the 39. Bowden said, come on, guys. Learn how to finish a team. Here's an excellent return, man. Ball goes right down the pipe, and then the fun starts at the bottom of the pile. So the drive continues. Rivers comes back out, play action. Puts it up. Watch Brian Peterson. Oh, there's all kinds of holding here. Yeah, that's, that's oh, that was fabric. Brian Mance had a hold of Peterson's jersey, but let's see if it goes the other way. Two flags are thrown. Well, Peterson tried to make the adjustment to the football. Still his right. So an automatic first down and that puts the ball down to the 24 yard line 16th penalty on Clemson 
amazing they get any action with play action because they've had very little run. That's right. And you watch the adjustment to the ball. Peterson then makes a great effort to get back. A little bit too much contact. It's all about contact. But if I were on the other side of the ball, I could, I could fight for that one as well. That's right. First and ten at the 24-yard line. Robinson back in the tail. Edwards is the slot for Graham on that side, and Cotry is split wide out on the left. Looking right at Cotry, pump and go. Cotry end zone, out of bounds. Hafley covering all the play for Clemson. And they can do that because of the scoreboard and because of very little threat to run. Right. Play action, pump. NC State can't abandon their their offensive game plan. You know, with 14:08 to go in the ball game, they still have time. Uh, 19 points back. That's technically three scores. And Miami is going to end the long win streak of Florida State at Doe Campbell. 49-20 in the third. The textile bowl here being played out in Raleigh. NC State trying to get back in this one. Rivers, last time, comes out of the pocket. Throws behind the line of scrimmage. It's to Graham at the 12. Graham put that football dangerously out there to try to get more yardage. It's a 12 yard gain, and it brings up another first down. Well, you find out a lot about your wideouts when you're trailing, you're at home, you got to make a play. And so far, State has shown they have people that will compete. Nice catch with the hands. You have to take advantage of a turnover when you're trailing. Quarterback Olin Hannon, backup quarterback, is in the play. And now Eason, actually, no, that's Donnell Washington. And Javon Bush as they sandwich Phillip Rivers for a loss of two on the play. Boy, that's unfair. You get Bush and Washington. Yeah. To hit you at the same time, you are in a world of trouble. I mean, that's a lot of manhood there. 600 plus pounds. There's Javon Bush, fifth year senior out of Hardyville, South Carolina. He's and made a lot of plays. Yeah, a lot of plays. So has Donnell Washington. Second down. Rivers throwing for the end zone. Has Peterson. Was he in? Was he in? Yes! Oh, man. A 15 yard catch. Brian Peterson. Seventh career touchdown reception. It's never pretty. Often it won't be perfect, but then someone will make a play. Folks, you just witnessed it. NC State now has to go for two. They missed the extra point after their last touchdown. Booster moves over to the opposite tackle. Robinson in motion. Rivers rushes on. Rivers gets out of the grasp of one, but throws it incomplete. Great pressure by Bryant McNeil. He was all over Philip Rivers. Cooster move o moved over. They made it a strong side. Nobody blocked anybody. But Brian Peterson found himself on the successful end. Just enough real estate in the end zone to catch that one. His sixth catch, 120 yards, and his first touchdown of the day. 12:51 left to play here. And Peterson having himself a career day, 120 yards. Here's the kickoff. And going back deep, eight yards into the end zone, is going to be Derek Hamilton. Let's watch this touchdown and see how he had to walk the tightrope of the end zone to stay in. Well, it all starts with Rivers. Felt the pressure, stepped up in the pocket, put a lot of air on this. Watch the adjustment. Nice move. Feet right down. Yeah, great call. Good work by the officials yeah, to verify call. it. So Peterson scores. Let's go to the sidelines and Mike Hogwood. This NC State bench is really up and alive. More than I've seen at any time in the second half. The players and coaches walking up and down saying, two scores and we win. Two scores and we win. They're into this game. 13 points back, but they got to play some defense. Woodrow Dantzler back in. Price exerts pressure. Dantzler throws one up there. Pass complete. It's Curry. And he's down at the two. Aries Curry, the true freshman from Columbia, 
A 79 yard pass hookup and a lot of it was in the air. Well he's got the Jets. Well we talked about the speed guy the fastest guy in the field for the Tigers was Curry. They tried to get him the ball earlier in a little quick flare. I mean you watch Dantzler. We've seen him run. We've looked at the touch passes. Now this is under pressure. And this kid launches a rocket. And Curry was rolling. What a day for Woodrow Dantzler. And he's got his team first in goal. Got a great effort by Williams to save it. Down at the two. Dantzler carries his own number. Nothing doing there. Price and Jamison are in there to stop it. No penetration there by Clemson to dig out the hole. 471 total yards of off, or 371 yards on in the air, 407 yards, 471 yards total, 164 rushing yards on the day, and two touchdowns. And four touchdowns in the air this afternoon. The all time offensive, total offense leader at Clemson, Woodrow Dantzler. He passed Elon Green today. Here's Zachary. Oh, D'Antonio Burnett <laughs> shot him down along with Sean Price. And they're still knocking on the door. It'll be third and goal. Without LeVar Fisher, who was injured earlier in the second half, everybody has to give more defensively for the Wolfpack. No one has given more than Burnett. And that kid has really elevated his game. Third and goal. Lambert and Zachary are in back of Dantzler. Lee is the fullback. The pitch to Zachary. Zachary no. is no. Corey Smith, Brian Jamison, Antonio Burnett, and Roger Pollard in on the tackle. And it's third and goal. Fourth and goal from the one. Dantzler, no, I don't think so. Clemson gambles, they don't get it. NC State holds three times from the two and one time from the one. Boy, that's guts. And that's a testament to what Chuck Amato feels about this club. I mean, those kids went in there and they got it done. I thought they were out of here following the big game. The crowd was silent and then this. And great penetration by Darius Bryant and Jarek Hall. That stuffed things up the middle and now State's got more than a hope. Down 13 with 10 and a half to play and a lot of real estate to cover. Low man wins. Yep. It's all about leverage. Well, let's see what Phillip Rivers can do. 99 yards away. Going up for it and almost had Brian Peterson coming on the play as Ryan Hemby. Yeah. yeah. Ryan Hemby That was a nice throw. It had Peterson been able to keep outside position. But being that he was forced in, he didn't have a way to get back to the football. Good play by the DB that time, Hemby. Yeah, some good corner play all the way across the board. A few have been called, but they've been close. Patry is split wide out to the left side. He scored three times today. He'll get the ball this time at the five. Now out to about the nine yard line. He needed the 11 for the first down. A gain on the play of about nine, and it'll bring up third and one. Tight formation. Willie right there, 80 in your screen. Nice timing, Rod. Patry cut off balance, still made a nice move. Lunges out, tries to get to the sticks. Many golden miss. Willie Wright split wide out to the right side. He'll trade Jackson, and here's Raymond Robinson. Robinson going for the first down, and he's got it. And what a confidence builder that is. They needed one for the first down, and they got it on the ground. Well, if they can find a way, and Coach Dooley pointed this out. If they could get the running game going, especially now. Get those get those safeties nudged up, then it would give them a chance to get a, maybe a big one over the top. First and ten. 
NC State only had one or eight first downs in the first half. They're barely into double figures for the game. Rivers, big pressure is on, and he had to get rid of it in a hurry as Khalid Vaughn was in his grill. He felt the pressure and got rid of the sack that time. He cut it loose. Oh, Edwards, give him two more seconds. Edwards ran the corner route, was wide open. Of course, remember Devontae Edwards who caught a touchdown pass and then went smack dab right into the middle of the goalpost. Play that I saw actually captured on film in the paper this morning. Second down and 10. Rivers to the flats. Cotre Jackson has good hands. And Jackson up over to the 19 yard line. And Haefeli is there to make the stop. Charles Haefeli, leading tackler from the secondary. Six yard game. No fly. Amazing. Six yard gain makes it third down and four. Nine ten left to go. Rivers struck quick last time after NC State picked up a fumble. Picked up two turnovers today. Rivers, plenty of time on this one. But it's intercepted by Henry. Pattern ran wrong by Peterson. It looks like there was a mix up there and a flag thrown after the tackle. Clemson intercepts. Hemby picks it off. His first career pick for the redshirt freshman from Orangeburg, South Carolina. And Clemson has the ball back, but we've got a flag after the play. The interception will stand. Well, you waste a goal line stand. A great stand by your defense. During the return, illegal block in the back, 10 yard penalty, first down. Only the second interception of the year thrown by Phillip Rivers. Now Clemson has the football after the penalty at NC State Territory at the 49 yard line. Dantzler has had a stellar day. Hands off to Travis Zachary, who pulls his way down to the 47 yard line of NC State, a gain of two on the play. Are you challenging time? Uh, you want to keep Dantzler on the bench, but more importantly, momentum. I mean, following that goal line stand, oh, yeah. they had this place rocking again. Yep, they did. It's a gain of only two, brings up second down and eight now for the Tigers. Clemson had a week off after their stunning win at Georgia Tech. Dantzler, here's the reverse pitch to Hamilton. Has fumbled the snap. And he picks some yardage. He's got first down yardage and more. And finally goes down. Brian Jamison, Brian Williams, they're in there to make the stop. Well, that young man, he's excited for a freshman. I mean, he doesn't seem to show any fear. You just have to like this offense. This offense keeps you on your toes. Good blocking out on the perimeter. And this is just an athlete that knows what to do with the football. Derek Hamilton, one of four. Well, actually, they got five good receivers, and they lost four to injury. And they're still moving on. Here's Zachary. Big hole off the left side, closes down when Roger Pollard steps into it. From the 21 down to the 18. See, we have a tiger down. That's the shoe. Shoe blowout. It happens. It happens a lot. <laughs> so it's a gain of about four. Brings up second down and six. Clemson now takes on North Carolina at home next week. Steve Martin, Doc Walker, Mike Hogwood we even had an appearance with Bill Dooley in Raleigh today. Here's Dantzler on second down. And seven trying to scramble out of the pocket, but nothing doing. Sean Locklear makes the tackle. Locklear is a sophomore from Lumberton, North Carolina. Woodrow Dantzler came into this game holding 23 school records. He has 496 total yards of offense. He needed 430 to surpass Neilon Green as the all time total offense leader at Clemson. Third down now coming, and eight. 
Thompson has struggled in the red zone here the last two times down. They got to the one and couldn't punch it in. Danger down. Dantzler behind for the corner. Pollard forces him to cut in and they trap him. Brian Williams, Corey Smith cleaned it up, but Pollard does a nice job of forcing him up and inside. It's a gain of about three, but it's not good enough for the first down, and the field goal unit will be coming in. But part of NC State's success in the fourth quarter, aside of that offense, has been their defense ability to get the offensive ball back. And they've shown so far a great goal line stand. Here they come in and could hold Tim, the Tigers down to just three points. This is Aaron Hunt. Hunt, two for three from the field goal range, 31 yard kick. Longest is 48. And this one's going to be good. The field goal by Hunt. Aaron Hunt's field goal capped off a 34 yard drive, and that was set up by Hemby's interception. Here comes Golden. Up through the middle. Jasmine upset him there, along with number 33, Ronnie DeLusime, and that's a 24 yard return. Well, NC State's got to go to Georgia Tech next yep. week. Huh? And Clemson comes home to take on North Carolina. North Carolina, last look, was looking like they were going to pick up their fourth win in a row. Rivers pass to the flats. Edwards has it, and he is brought down at the 33. That's as good as a running play, really. Rivers pass the 14, Edwards. And NC State will go without a huddle here. Second down and six. We'll pass over the middle to the tight end, Wright. And Wright has it up to the 44 yard line. Well, that's a nice gain of 10 yards on the play. Picks up the first down. A new wrinkle. We never seen that. I kind of thought we'd see more of Willie Wright on the receiving end. Yeah, I did. I said early on. Today. It was one of the keys. It's one of our keys. Pass complete, Devontae Edwards. Oh, Edwards make a missed tackles, and he's in Clemson territory at the 38-yard line. It's an 18-yard game. So State trying to drum something up and get up field. Well, if you watch State football, you know they don't quit. They don't have it in them. Come from behind. Eight of their 11 wins under Chuck Amato. Here comes Rivers again. This one's complete to right. And it's close to first down yardage at the 28 yard line. 10 yards on the gain. Looks like they're going to push the chains here on this one. Four straight passes, all of them complete. Two to Edwards and two to Wright. And that's going to be close enough to measure. State might want to consider running a little more no huddle. Marty Galbraith, you see him walking the sidelines, the offensive coordinator for the Wolfpack. We got a lot of coaching power in this place today and Clemson of course has Brad Scott former head coach at South Carolina and former offensive coordinator for Bobby Bowden. He's the quarterbacks coach Michael Kane also uh, he's the offensive coordinator and of course Michael Kane who coached here for seven years is the quarterback coach so they need that much for first down. NC State driving they need two scores. There's Doc Holliday spent most of his career in West Virginia under Don Nealon. And this is his first uh, assistant coaching job outside of Morgantown. Done a heck of a job too with those receivers. We talked about that. And with the injury. First and ten. Rivers with time. Oh, yeah. Almost picked off by Hayfley. Overthrew Rivers Brian Peters. Overshot. Peters. Hayfley, he's had his hands failed as well. Rivers wants it. And threw that across the body. I don't know if that's the footwork he wanted, but then again, he was under a bit of pressure. A bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Clemson's done a good job trying to get to him. They sacked him three times this afternoon. Second down. They could do it with the D line, too. That's, that's what's impressive about yeah. the Tigers. Rolling left, Rivers throws, and this one's low. John Leak in coverage of uh, Brian Peterson that time, and that brings up third down. Stops the clock with 3.55 left to go. State has all of their timeouts left. And there's Rivers on the day. Not a bad day. 287 yards, three scores. He's thrown an interception. Looking for 
for his sixth career 300 yard day. Third down and 10. Rivers up the middle. Gets rid of one tackler but won't get the first down. He's pulled down at the 23 yard line. It's a gain of five on the play. It'll bring up fourth down and five. Well, he's shaken up. And a timeout coming here, I believe, by NC State. So timeout as Rivers wobbles to the sideline a little bit. 45 29 with 341 left to go. Woodrow Dantzler holds 23 school records. He's bashed a couple more this afternoon. That was stealing. I mean, here it just makes you miss people. And then we're going to count five members of the Wolf back who have a hand on it. A couple can't get that close. Marvelous run by Heisman candidate Woodrow Dantzler. He hasn't done anything to hurt that candidacy today. Here are the new school records added to the 23 you already holds. Single game touchdowns accounted for six. Single game total offense, 499 and counting. And career total yards, 6,856 in past Neilon Green earlier this afternoon. Woodrow Dantzler. And there's maybe more work for him to do. However, there's fourth down and five coming up for NC State. They're at the Clemson 22 yard line. They need the 18 for the first down. Steve, I haven't heard a lot of Heisman talk about Dantzler recently, and I just want to know who the kids are. There's supposed to be eight kids that are better. I'd like to see tape. I don't think you'll be able to find it, Doc. This guy, with today's performance and what he did against Georgia Tech last week, I mean, if that doesn't vault him up into the favorite status, I don't know what does. And it's against who you do it. That's right. And who you do it against as well. All right, fourth down and five for NC State. It's all is right here. They're going to come back and do this thing. They just might. At the 16-yard line, first down, Jericho Cotchery. And he has had a lot of damage done in his direction today. Three touchdowns and a key first down on a 12-yard pickup. Cotchery's quite a weapon in the red area. Plus 20, he has been very difficult to contain. That's his sixth catch of the day. He's had three touchdown catches. Rivers on first down. Throwing for the end zone. Overthrows. Hicks, the intended receiver. He was open, but. Uh, now Robinson missed his block right at the point. They tried to seal that in, and Ray couldn't get it done. Too much pressure on Phillip Rivers. That was a touchdown. Yep. That's the thing about college football and pro football as well. Running backs have a lot of responsibilities in terms of pass game, run game, blitz pickup, and run block. Right. Not just toting the mail. That's right. Four wide outs. Trey Jackson in with Jara Rivers. Steps up, fires. Oh, incomplete. Intended for Devontae Edwards and Chad Carson and Eric Meekins held a meeting over his helm. Meekins, he, he delivers the blow. I like the I like the way the kid finishes. Attitude with him. He's got an interception already today. You can't play it close. They they don't hide people. Everybody on their defense has to break the hammer. They got a lot of youngsters, freshmen, true freshmen and redshirt freshmen on their two deep, and they're all playing very well here today. Third down and ten. NC State down to the 16-yard line at Clemson. 16 points back. Pass complete to Raymond Robinson. Ray gets up to about the 12, maybe to the 11. Five yard gain. It brings up fourth down again. And the clock stops with 3.02 left to go. And yet another timeout for NC State. They're down to their last. Here's Rivers. Back to throw. Fourth down. Pass complete. Touchdown. Willie Wright. 12 yard touchdown strike. And NC State closes in. Boy, tight ends have played a huge part in today's ball game. All kidding aside, this young man here has a bright future. You know, as well as the young freshman Ben Hall that we witnessed from Clemson. Former wide receiver. Two point conversion coming here for NC State. They're 10 points back. They want to close to within eight. Pottery in motion. Here comes Rivers to throw. Pass complete. Robinson.
45 37 ho hum another NC State Clemson Wolfpack, game. Wolfpack man they won't die. Think about coach coach Bob <laughs> thinking of some man every other two weeks ago down to the wire this week. Can we make this easier and in completing that pass. Philip Rivers has his sixth 300 yard passing day. That's a new Wolfpack record. Of course for Rivers today. That's his third touchdown pass of the afternoon and he has nine for the season. We have to give the fans here. Carter Finley a lot of credit. They've stayed. Yep, a lot of places people bail out early to beat to beat traffic not here. It's not fifty one five but it's above forty thousand still hanging on. Yes indeed. And here comes Herbert getting ready for the onside kick or what we anticipate will be one. Austin Herbert. And it's still yet to go 10 yards and Clemson picks it up. Good idea. Poor yep. kick. Yeah. Kiker needed to get a little more distance on it. And it came to a stop very early. And of course of course the defense or the, the kicking team can't touch until it goes Probably 10 yards. We have some fireworks. Jim Knight. Can you imagine this place had they recovered it back? Croachman by the kicking team. Penalty is declined. First down. Here's the bad news. You just put the magician <laughs> on a short track. Back on the field. Rivers hopes that this isn't it for him this afternoon. But Woodrow Dantzler hasn't been too good about giving the ball back. One scoring drive went 13 plays, five minutes, eight up 92 yards. First and ten, and Dantzler straight ahead. And Dantzler gets about four. Down to about the 41, close to the 40. And has eclipsed 500 yards total offense for the afternoon. What a day for Woodrow Dantzler. And there's LeVar Fisher, who wishes so very badly that he could be a part of it today. He was for three quarters, and then Got injured with a sprained left knee. Second down and six. Clock continues to roll in favor of Clemson. They lead it by eight. Dantzler taking his time. Hand off Zachary and Zachary straight ahead. He's up over the 40 down to about the 38. And let's have a look at our Texas Pete. Players of the game. Oh, what a shock. Woodrow Dantzler. Yeah, 500 and me. I know it's tough in the balloting. And Jericho Cotri with uh, three uh, touchdown catches, two from Phillip Rivers, one from Brian Peterson. Six catches, 76 yards on the day. But look at Dantzler with 503 total yards and responsible for six touchdowns. Yeah. 200 yards over his average. Threw for four and rushed for two. State has just used their last timeout now. Stops the clock with 2.09 left to play. Clemson facing a third down and four. And an all important call coming up for Woodrow Dantzler, who he keeps his drive alive and will pretty much seal it. But if not, there's more excitement to come from the NC State sideline. There you see Buddy Green in the middle of the defensive huddle. I think it's a tougher call for Buddy Green. Yeah, it is. As to what defense to call. Coach West, they go, okay, Woodrow, do you think? Well, he's gotten, uh, you know, we talk about Woodrow Dantzler, but you need an offensive line that will oh, kick yeah. it out for you. And they do have a good offensive line. Everybody, Hot. everybody across the board has chipped in. We, you know, Jasmine gets a score. Rambert had some great moments. Zachary, we watched Hamilton, Kidley come in. They've got uh, three fifth year seniors, two fifth year seniors, and two grad students in that front line. There's TJ Watkins and Akil Smith and Will Merritt and Kyle Young. They've done an excellent job today. Seven grad students. Total. Yeah. Third down and four. Ball game's on the line right here. Dantzler, play action, gets outside the tackle. He'll get the first down. Sean Locklear, and that is just what Woody Dantzler has done all afternoon. He makes you think you've got him, and he gets outside your end. The magician. 14 had it, yards. Had it, it was defended. You draw that up on the board. You say, you guys put him here. Coach, we were there. Well, then what happened? Well, then he just uh, made a move. <laughs> <laughs> he made a move. stop it. You know how that is? <laughs> Came into this game with 332 yards rushing on the season. He has 184 today. It reminds me of Michael Vick. I mean, I, when I watched him, done a number of games with Tech. It reminds me of Michael Vick. First down coming. 
now a stoppage of play here. Looks like Clemson has called a timeout. Or no, they were the play clock had run out, apparently, and we have a penalty on the field for delay of game. Dead ball, delay of game, on the offense, five yard penalty, the clock will start on the snap. So a minute 32 remaining and the fans now start to make their way toward the parking lot and uh, good luck at State Fair Saturday the first weekend of the North Carolina State Fair and it's going to clog some arteries. We got three college football games in the ACC in this region today within 25 miles of each other and uh, the North Carolina State Fair. Well, 18th penalty for Clemson that ties the team record. First down and. Woody Dantzler will take an E because NC State can stop this clock no longer. No more. No more timeouts. Did you have any doubts in your mind that Dantzler would have that football? On that last play? Yes, on that indeed. Third? No, I didn't have any doubts. And uh, and I'm, not, I'm sure Chuck Amato didn't have any no, doubts I'm, either. That's but he just That's the thing. You know, you're, you're talking about an extraordinary young man who is not a, who is a tailback playing the quarterback spot, and he's a darn good tailback. Could be a quarterback playing tailback. Yeah, I mean, does it all? Does it all? You know, everyone references this guy as a running back who's playing quarterback. Well, I, I look at him and say he's a quarterback playing the running back spot. He can do them both effectively. The numbers have been evident. Another delay of game penalty against Clemson but you look coming in here today Woodrow Dantzler was fourth in rushing in the conference with 332 yards and you add 184 to that he passes or gets close to Joe Burns probably passes him and moves up in third in the conference and rushing. Of course Philip Rivers on the other side is four TD passes. Today he's done a good job Dantzler will take another knee. And the clock will roll on with 47 seconds left to go. NC State cannot stop it. And Wolfpack now will pick up their second in conference loss, the first coming on this field two weeks ago at the hands of North Carolina. Well, one thing about it as well, I don't see any flaws in the kid whatsoever. Rivers, they're a little down, but they're, they are not out of this. I mean, this schedule now, we're right into the meat of this ACC schedule, and it is hot. And it's the best race we've had in years. Yes, best I can remember. Yep. Best race we've had in years, and even though you pick up a second loss, and Bill Dooley talked a lot about it with with uh, Georgia Tech, they're not out of this race yet either. As the clock winds down, we'll not get another play away from scrimmage. And uh, here's a delay of game. Now that'll stop the clock with 13 seconds left to go. Woody Dantzler has put on a personal show this afternoon, as he has accounted for over 90 percent of Clemson's total offense today. What an outstanding individual performance. Tommy Bowden probably worried a little bit about his defense. They've given up uh, now 107 points over the last three games. And that'll do it. Teams meet at midfield, and the clock counts its way down, and Clemson will up their record to 4 and 1 as Woodrow Dantzler escapes from Carter Finley with a win as the Clemson Tigers hold on. It's a classic NC State Clemson game. Clemson looked like they were going to run and hide. NC State came roaring back and made it a game.